Welcome to my home, Star Corner, and also welcome to this month's home tour. It is a renovation, it is a mess. Let's go. I'm not loving this room at the moment. Today, it's felt quite challenging showing you around today. Welcome. Welcome to my home, Star Corner, and also welcome to this month's home tour. The home tour is an opportunity for me to show you around my home each month. It is a renovation, it is a mess, so please don't expect any grand interiors, but it's work in progress and it's nice to share with you. So I'll show things that we've done, show things that we haven't quite done, and just keep you up to date with where we're at with our renovation. You can't see Maple below me, but she's just right here on the floor next to me, wagging her tail. Should we show everyone round, Maple? Should we show everyone round? Let's go. I was hoping to start this home tour off in the garden, but it's so cold and blustery today. So I think we'll start in the living room instead. The living room is the room that I try and keep nice and cosy at all times. The furniture isn't the end result. It's not here to stay, which you'll know if you've watched my videos before. But it's the one room that I really try and keep as nice as possible so that my family don't always feel as though they're living in a renovation. There's my very, very thrown together Easter tree. I think if I was being marked for that, it would be could do better, but it looks pretty. The flowers and the candles aren't just because I'm doing the home tour. It's one thing that's really important to me and makes me feel as though my home is really homely. So every day, there are candles burning and seasonal flowers in my home. I really wanted to show you these little pots. If you watched our last video when we hired a digger and a dump truck, you will have seen us digging out loads of soil. And these little pots we actually found in the ground. So I've cleaned them up, popped some daffodils in and put them on this little vintage mirror. I think they look really pretty there. Here's a few of the things that I found this month on my antique treasure hunting antics. There was this lovely little crystal brandy glass, which I've just put some seasonal Easter eggs in. The soap that I picked up for the ball in. No, I wouldn't normally keep soap in my living room, but it's just there for safekeeping until my bathroom is done. There's the books that I use for coasters and the little Parisian print. All little things just to make my home more homely. This was a tray that I picked up at a car boot sale the other week and I thought that you might like to see which books I'm currently looking at. These are nice coffee table books. This one, Patterns of India, was one that I got for my birthday and I've had it next to my bed. I've now finished it. It's so beautiful. The pictures are so lovely that I thought that I'd just bring it downstairs so I can still flick through it. All these books, I'll actually put a link in my description because they're all worthy of a purchase. This is a new one that I bought recently, secondhand. A Year in Flowers by Shane Connolly. One of the things I am trying to do to my garden is plant shrubs and flowers that I can use for foliage. So this is just wonderful inspiration by one of our top floral designers. Really enjoy working my way through that one. And this one is one of my absolute favourites. Always like to have this close to hand, especially at this time of year. A Tree in the House by Annabelle Hickson, who really does know how to put together beautiful floral arrangements. Hopefully, I may even have my own book one day, which I can keep on my own coffee table. But for now, I'll enjoy the inspiration from others. 
And finally, this is Mark's book. This was a Christmas present the other year. And we're actually making our way round these pubs. It's a great present for a man. Great pubs of England. And so we are actually making our way round the UK and ticking some of the pubs off as we go. I think we've been to four so far, so we've got quite a few to go. There really isn't a lot more to show you in this room, so let's move on to the cinema room. I'm not going to dwell on this room too much. I feel that this room has lost its mojo. Mark has been doing DIY on the stairs, which are just up there. So it's been a bit of a mess. We've brought loads of wood in from outside just to keep it dry. So that looks quite unsightly. And Rowan has been so busy revising that she hasn't really been using this room a lot. So it's just a room that's here that one day will do up and it will look really, really nice. But it's called the cinema room because we have a projector on the ceiling, which projects onto that wall there. So I think this room needs a bit of attention and just sprucing up. As you can see, there's no flowers or anything in here. So let's go. I'm not loving this room at the moment. But before we go, I know you're going to ask me what's happened to the promise of a sewing table in this corner just there. I just haven't found a table. I've been really, really busy and I haven't found a table to put my sewing machine on. And also, if you're not familiar with my channel, you may wonder why I don't have a ceiling. And it's because we're waiting for plumbers to come and do whatever they need to do. And then we'll be able to put the ceiling up. We've contacted the plumbers and hopefully they'll get back in touch with us soon. Here we are in the kitchen. I must say it's felt quite challenging showing you around today. We have been working on so many areas of the house and outside. So at the weekend we had a digger and a dumper truck, as you know, and there is mud all in the house. And I try and show you a reality, but um, it feels quite a mess. Now I've also been asked about the mess outside and the mess inside. And I have to say, that's something that you would have to ask Mark about. It's his way of working and it works for him. And that's all I can say. So um, it's not necessarily the way I would work, but he has his own way of working and he seems to be able to do it with all the mess around. So we'll let him get on with it. Oh my goodness, Mark has just come home from work whilst I'm trying to record. I told him not to put anything down, so he decided to lie on the table. Go on, off you go, I'm recording. <laughs> this is part of the extension. This is the kitchen, which we built last year. As you can see, it's not finished, but we got it to a point where we can work with it and that's fine. There's so many other things to do at the moment that actually having it in this state is fine and, and we can work. But those eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that Mark has already started plasterboarding in the kitchen. You might also remember that I asked him not to do anything to the kitchen, but he just can't help himself. So moving through, this is the bedroom, or will be the master bedroom. And then we've got the small bathroom through there. So this is a major project that we've been working on. And again, you will see that there is a difference. Plasterboarding has started in here. Now we don't need to plasterboard on this wall because we're having a completely built-in wardrobe. That one over there is already done. And this has been plasterboarded too. So that is major progress going to be very dark if I take you into the bathroom. You really can't see anything. But there has been a bit of progress in there. Mark has actually put the base into the shower as well. Now the reason why we haven't been able to get any further is because we have been waiting for the plumbers to come. And we've contacted them because that is the trench just there that they needed us to create, which we've now done. So hopefully, they will be coming soon. I'm hoping you enjoyed that really quick whiz around my cottage. It is a renovation project, hence it looking in the state that it is. 
but we're living here and making it as homely as we can. Really hoping next month I'll be able to tell you that the plumbers have been and that we're cracking on with our bathroom, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching my very quick home tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.